Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to use Google Trends to find products to sell. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So if you're looking a way for you to maximize your profits or your income on your business, well, market research is a great thing to consider or try doing. Now, in this case, we'll be using Google Trends here. In this, ca this case, is a very helpful tool to know what's currently trending and you might want to base on your, uh, like for example, your sales or even how you would strategize with your products. Now, in this case, we are already on the website or the main site for Google Trends here. So if you don't know the actual website for Google Trends, go to trends.google.com. Now, from here, how do we actually start using Google Trends? Now, for example, you don't know what's, what, you're, what are you going to search. Well, the good thing about Google Trends here, it's also going to give you information on what's trending now. So at the top left of your screen, we have the home here, which is the current page that we are currently viewing. We have the explore section here, as well as the trending now option. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and go to the pages here, but since you don't know yet what is currently trending, let's go ahead and go to trending now. Now, under trending now, these are the topics that are currently trending on certain areas. Like for example, as you can see on my screen right now, it's going to give us information on daily search trends or real-time search trends here. So you could go ahead and switch to those. Now, in this example, the real-time search trends are not available in this region. So there are certain regions that this is currently unavailable. Now, in this case, if you want to change your region, just click on the country that you're currently set to. And from here, you could go ahead and change that to that specific country. Now, in this case, if you want to go back into daily searches, or search trends here, you could go ahead. And as you can see, these are the topics that are currently trending in Google Trends or in Google in general. So currently, we'll be able to see, like for example, for Tuesday, November 1, 2023, we'll be able to see the current status for this specific search. Like for example, we have 1,000 searches for this specific topic here. And we also have the Italian job, Gavi, and in here. So we have rankings for those specific topics. Now, if you want to go ahead and view about it further, you could go ahead and just scroll down a bit. And as you can see, since it's still early in November 21, it's going to show the topics for November 1. But if you scroll down, these are the topics that were trending in November 20. Now, as you can see, we have up to CEO, CEO Coldplay, Bonobo, and a lot more. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and see or search for topics that you might you might uh, need to use or integrate into your business. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and search for something that we could use. So if you want to load more, click on load more here and you should be able to see a few other informations. As you can see, we have a topic here that says Cricket World Cup. So in this case, we want to view a few things about World Cup here. So let's go to Explore tab here to further expand this one. So let's go to World Cup. And from here, we could go ahead and search a term. Now, in this tab here, it's quite different. So instead of you seeing what's currently trending immediately or the general trending terms right now, well, in this case, we'll be able to search for uh, specific terms and see if they are currently trending now in this case we want to go ahead and type in world cup and press on enter now from here we have different sections that we need to view so we have the interest over time so interest over time is represented with zero up till to 100 so 100 means there are there is a surge of interest about this specific topic and zero or 50 means that it it's a lot lo, a lot less interesting or people are not searching mo as much as they can now zero means it's not interesting at all but uh, typically it's going to be one here and in this case in this case if you have 50 like for example 57 here meaning our people are partially inter interested about this one so meaning they are interested but not that much now in this case you could also change a few things oh uh, before that we have the interest by subregion. so in this case they have the australian capital territory new south wales here if you need further information about this one now i also have related topics here if you want to view other topics as well and related sub queries as well 
Now, in this case, let's go ahead and go here. Now, for this example, we also have the option to change a few things on our search here. Like, for example, if you want to change your region, just click on your region here, and you'll be able to change that as well. And the uh, the time or the length on the interest. Like, for example, you only want to see how people are interested in the past hour. So if you click on past hour here, you'll be able to see the interest. Like for example, currently in around November 21, 2.23 a.m., there's a surge of interest, meaning there's a lot of people searching for it. Now, we also have the categories here if you want to add categories as well. And the web searches if you want that. For example, image search, new search, Google Shopping, and YouTube search. Now, if you want to integrate Google Shopping here just to make uh, see how people are interested in shopping. So as you can see, right now on November 21, there's a search of interest for this specific topic on Google Shopping. Now, you also have the option to compare topics. Like, for example, you're deciding between World Cup and between cartoons. Uh, just to give you an example here. So, for example, you want to compare work, World Cup and cartoons here. Let's go ahead and search cartoons. And from here, it's going to give you information on those topics. As you can see, there's a lot more interest on the option for World Cup. So, this World Cup is blue and uh, red or orange is going to be cartoon here. Now in this case, there's a lot more interest on World Cup and it's much more stable if you're going to look at this graph here or interest over time. Now in this case, if you're deciding what to sell, either World Cup or cartoons, then you might want to consider using World Cup here, but it depends on your strategy itself. But that's about it. So those are the tools that you could use here for you to boost your sales or find products to increase your sales in your store. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to you NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.